Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're keeping safe and keeping busy indoors and all your families are okay. The sun is currently shining outside again. I want to get out there so much. But anyway, in the cubby hole again, as you can see, I just want to go over an aspect of editing that sometimes I see, I see certain images online and I think, ah, if only they'd done that. It's a mistake that I used to do a lot until I started my sports photography, and that's horizons. Now, obviously, during the cropping process, it's two, three seconds just to kink the horizon so that you've got it nice and level. And just want to show you a few of my frames that are unedited, where I would kink it a bit. I might have grabbed the 70 to 200, and you know, quickly I've come off the 400 onto the 70 to 200, snapped away. The horizon's off, and so just want to go through a few examples of how easy it is to get that horizon right. Let's dive into the laptop. Right, so before we go into this image here, the crop tool is on the left here, and you've got various presets, original ratio, which takes it to obviously your original crop, or you can go for seven by five, or 16 by nine. They're all the presets that are in there. However, we're gonna set our own, so, I think actually seven by five is in there. Sure it is, yeah, five by seven. So that's five by seven. Let's turn it the other way around. You can alter the rotation on these two arrows here. Nice, simple tool. Right, we're at seven by five. Now in the past, when I first started sports photography and it was pointed out to me, I would have looked at this and thought, oh great, yeah, you're excited. You want to get it sent off. So you go in, you crop in, colors are good. Let's just move it around a bit. Yeah, that looks good. Double click send and I started doing that and then it wasn't until I sent one particular frame very much like this I got an email straight back and I thought well what's going on here and uh, the editor had <laughs> said get your horizons level mate so I thought right so I went back into it and I thought oh heck what a mistake so anyway let's just take this back again so I'm going to go command alt z which takes it back now we're going to initially draw our crop box around there. Now the first thing to do is get your horizons right. So some on most grounds you can go by the goalposts. So I would take my cursor to the bottom, bottom any any of the corners, any of the corners, until you get your 90 degree arrow, and then just hold and drag up, drag up, and then you would think, right, that's got to be spot on. But if I just double click that, although your goalpost is right, you've now got these railings that are at tilt, and more importantly, you've got the ad board that's at a tilt, which tells me that these goalposts aren't quite vertical, not from the angle I was sat at anyway. So Command Alt Z takes it back. So let's draw our crop box again, draw it around there. Now this time I'm going to go by, I'm going to keep my eye on these railings and the top of that concrete, but I'm also going to keep my eye on the ad boards. So cursor down to the bottom right, drag up, about there I would say, looking at them railings, keeping the eye on the top of them railings, because the football pitch does go away from me a bit, so look at them railings and I would go about happy medium about there. As you can see now, that goalpost is a bit off. But anyway, I'm just going to crop in a little bit more here, not too tight, always leave it a little bit loose. And because we've got too much pitch here and not enough up here, I'm just going to hold and drag the box down, drag it down a bit. Obviously, keeping an eye on this corner, because if we go over, it's going to give us a white edge. So, drag it up to there. Same sort of crop area here and here. Keeping Huming Song roughly centre of the frame. And I'm happy with about that. So double click. Have a quick check. Do these railings look odd? Does the top of that concrete step area look odd? Probably does a bit, so I'm just going to hit the image again, one click, and I'm just going to alter that a little bit slightly ignoring the digiboard just a little bit double click and that's us 
you've got a happy medium between this digiboard, it's, it's, it's difficult because did, this digiboard might not be level on it on its little feet that are at the side of the ground. Sometimes pictures are, are a bit a bit hilly, so I'm going to go by these railings here and the top of this concrete. So that to me looks okay, so I would now send that. So that's one idea of cropping, so let's just get rid of that. Ah, right, this one, this is more about the crop than anything. So this is, I think it's Steve Cummings, uh, a couple of years ago on the tour of Britain Cycling. Now I just caught him before the start of the stage and he's just sat there thinking away and I thought, right, how can I, this is a good example of how we can crop it. Oh, let's just take that back a bit. Come here, you. Just take the back, double click, Control alt z will take you back to the mainframe. Now you can see that my horizons aren't right because there's obviously a post here and there's some tape here, look. So again, I'm not square. I haven't composed this frame right at all. So let's grab our crop tool, take it to that. Now because he's in deep thought by the looks of things, always trying to ignore the photographers, one of the two, um, some people would probably crop it tight, like that, bringing that in a bit. You don't really need to worry about your horizons then. Crop it like that. But to me, there's a bit of wasted space here and he's looking this way and you can catch his thoughts in this area here. So I'm just gonna go Control, Alt, Delete, take it back a step and bring that drag, drag that crop tool across. Now, I'm gonna leave it about there. Just take it there a bit. Again, we don't need to worry about the horizons too much. The backdrop's not great. Obviously some fans stood here and under cyclist. But now, if you leave it like that and double click on that to crop it, it gives a bit of an area of space here for him to think into, if that makes sense. We could perhaps lose his right shoulder a little bit. Take it in a bit. Let's just take it down a bit, take it back a bit that way. And I'm happy with that. He's looking this way anyway. It's like he's thinking. I mean, any editors could put a think bubble here or anything, you know, so that's how I would edit that one. Something a bit different on the cropping. Let's not save that. What we got next? Ah, right, we've got Mark Cavendish here. Obviously, this is at a really slow shutter speed because I wanted to get the element of speed. So we've got this spectator here. So I'm first start, I'm just going to drag it past and crop her out. Now, I quite like this open. Obviously, he's traveling this way. So I always learnt a good tip off a boss of mine years and years ago. If you've got a moving object, let it move into the frame. So cars, any moving vehicle, horse, race horses, anything, always give it more space where it's going than where it's come from. So with this Mark Cavendish, again, we're thinking about two thirds. So I'm just gonna take him into there. Probably gonna take it up so we've got a bit of grass in the bottom. Again, you can sort of check out the horizon here. A little bit of clump of grass here, so it's not too bad really. The curb looks about right. This looks okay here. Obviously this grass is slightly deeper here than here, but that's because I was panning. So I'm quite happy with that. I don't want to crop in too much. So let's just take him forward a little bit. Again, you've got all that space in the front here, a lot less at the back. Let's double click that. That looks quite nice, that. Right, so that looks nice like that. This frame does also lend itself, let's just take it back to the original, also lends itself quite well to a narrow crop. So in your settings box, let's change that to seven by three, just as an example. So first off, let's just take the box to the edge of the spectator, get Mark Cavendish in the thirds, scroll it up a bit to about there I would say. Yep, that's looking okay. Perhaps we'll just leave, take the grass out, bring it in a little bit more. This is gonna be quite a heavy crop. And then I think the curb is slightly tilted down there. So we will just tweak it a little bit, just like that. Double click. And that's quite nice as a frame like that, as a long frame as well. So there's all sorts of ways. You can put all your settings in this box, do whatever you like. We could do a square. We could, we could go seven by seven even. Seven by seven and just have you know, just have him in a square. There's all sorts, limits are endless. You can bring the square down a bit. Obviously, I'm really cropping into the frame now. But, uh, yeah, you can do whatever you like. So, jobs are good. Em. So that looks quite nice as a long frame, actually. Right, on to the next frame. Right, this one, this is more for cropping than anything. You've got the winner to the left. But because you've got all these cyclists here as well, I mean, some lads and lasses might 
just do a crop like that which nothing wrong with it obviously you're emphasizing the winner but not too keen on this space here so control alt delete take that back I would crop it more like that something like that again you can probably lose that cyclist on the right take it to there you're looking at your two-thirds again let's just take it down a bit don't lose that cyclist you could crop this in many ways to be fair now I'm just going to check my horizons looking at these posts and that looks to be leaning to the left a bit so I'm just just looking at this white line here as well it's not too bad a little bit more of a gap here than here so I'm just going to give it a little bit of a tweak that'll do I'm just looking at this here I mean you can't always go back these are just makeshift posts that have been put up on the day but let's just come off that take it round a little bit and I think that'll do us let's just double click on that you've got the same sort of space here as you have at the top and that's how I would leave that crop with these cyclists in but there's the winner you know what's going on you can see what's around him so that would be how I would crop that right obviously really show slow shutter speed on this one again we I mean just just take the crop box off not a great frame I mean I was panning so the object is in the middle of my frame but we want to leave more space there than here so onto the crop tool click it once take it all the way across to the right because we need to use all that space as much as we can now just get your 90 degree crop tool watching the horse's feet so we're okay at the minute let's get that railing sorted first get that nice and level right now we've got these white bits here so we have to come in a bit so I'm looking at these white crop areas this is the deepest part so let's work on that one so let's take that up to there it's a tight frame this is tight frame take that one in a bit right we are on the limits here so let's just give it a little bit more there let's double click that see how that looks that's lots better we can get away with that and the tail is taking up a lot of space here but he's still moving into the frame again this was more about horizons again just checking that horizon on the crop just getting that right so that looks nice probably got too many examples here guys right this is on the remote quite a nice easy one this let's get the crop tool single click brings up your grid just gonna drag it to the right a bit you can use your arrow keys as well so I'm just gonna take the arrow key back down there we go that's back in the frame right so this is good here quite like this space here we've got a little bit of space for this horse to run into that's okay but as you can see the main issue with this is horizons again so although it's dark you can still see it so I'm just gonna take the cursor down and get that horizon right obviously it's on a wide angle so it might be a little bit bent but let's just take it like that double click right we've got to go again obviously because we've got these white areas drag it from each corner get rid of them white areas that'll do us double click still not quite happy with that it looks to be raised this side a bit still so we'll just pull it a little bit more there we are jobs are good that's that horizon done nice easy one that again it's really important to get the horizon still see it a lot now I say I made the mistake when I first started but uh, you, you do still to it. people rush about they're looking at the the quality of the frame they're looking at the colors looking at what's happening the composition crop bang gone oh no forgot the horizon so really important it's such a simple simple thing to do right quick one here so this is just going to be a bit of a example on crop obviously you've got the referee here probably keep, keep him in the frame actually you're going to have to anyway so we need the player running into space but first off let's just do that horizon dragging it round dragging it round jobs are good and again thinking about your two-thirds I mean even if the referee wasn't there I would probably leave this like this for him running into this space so let's double click that jobs are good and 
That's nice and balanced, that one. Right, let's get rid of you. So these are all examples. Nice, easy one, this. Simple crop. Just going to pull it in from each corner. Pull it in. Might just pull this in a bit more. Just so that we've got equal spaces between here and here. Right, last step. Horizon. Using the backboard. The digital board there. Drag it round. Double click. Lovely. Leveled that out nicely. Again, these are all just, just basic crop examples, but not forgetting to check that horizon. Right, we've got rally car here. I miss my rallying. Not done any rallying for a long time. Right, the old fans were in a way again. It's because I'm doing a screen record, I think. The laptop's getting full. Right, we'll leave that there. Now let's just get rid of the, the crop box. No, we're not going to crop that. Right, so when I've took this, I've obviously composed it, centre of the frame, and I've left the same sort of space at the front, the front and the back. But I want him travelling into an area, so let's just use the arrow keys just to knock it across. We will lose a bit of that dust, but it won't matter. So let's just go right to the left of the frame. We want to use as much of that space as possible. Again, we don't need to look at horizons much on this. The trees are all looking okay, but we want more space here than here. Only a little bit, so I'm just going to drag that down a bit, just till the, the dust starts, just to give an element of speed. He's nice and centered, top and bottom of the frame. Double click, jobs are good. Un. You've still left this, you've cropped a bit, but he's got a bit of space traveling into. What have we got next? Ah, right, this sunset. Let's just get rid of that box. Now this was taken, obviously, probably last stage of the day. Now, the rally car, I composed this, obviously the sun was setting, I could see what I wanted. It's an old, it's an old, fit, uh, old picture now, it's quite grainy. This must be going back to early 2000s. But, knew what I wanted. This was the, the winning driver. I'd composed it, sun setting, and I wanted him driving into the sunset, obviously. So again, you've got that aspect of driving into space. So, as you can see, it's already been cropped. A lot more space for him to drive into than where he's coming from. So basically, obviously I've cropped this years ago, but I just wanted to give it as an example of a car, a moving object, moving into space. Obviously my horizon's okay. Right, now this, I actually sent this frame off like this. And my bad, I found it last night when I was doing some research on, on getting some images sorted out. And I sent this like this, and it's wrong. You do see motorsport on angles, but on big angles when you know it's meant to be at an angle, whereas this was my mistake. So hit the crop tool, and then we've got a nice clean background here. So we've got nothing to look on horizons, but still my mistake. Probably the reason I didn't square it up too much is because it really does crop into the bike, but that still looks better. Still looks better than that. And again, we've still got a bit of space here, more space at the front than back, so we get away with that. And lastly, this one is a bit of a deceiving one, this. Initially, you look at it and you think, oh, Horizon's way off there. But this is at Donington Park, and I think, I can't remember which, which corner this was, but I know there was a bit of an uphill straight, uphill corner into a long straight. Now, if you look at this, you think, oh, flipping heck, let's just crop that and get the Horizon done, so let's crop that like that. Double click. But then, these posts are not vertical, and that's the giveaway. So, that is actually cropped okay. So you've got him coming into space, this is again quite a slow short speed, so, but he's, he's riding into space, he's leaving that behind, but more importantly, just to finish off on the horizons, just deceiving with this going uphill, but it's these posts that you've got to look at, and the, the railings, they're all vertical, so I know that that is actually right. And that's that guys, jobs are good. Em. Well I hope that's given you a few tips on 
just making sure them horizons are right. It's, it, it does get forgotten a lot. You still see it a lot in the papers, you see it at football matches or wherever. It's just a case of when you're doing that crop, just give it a tweak and then you'll get your horizon right. I say it is a bit difficult at some, some football grounds. I'm only going on past experience where the goalposts aren't 90 degrees to the pitch, like at Southampton. It's just it, they're slightly back. They are pulled back on some wire rope, and I think they, they t tension them that much that it's quite it's quite deceiving. But then, if you know that that's off, you've got to go on your digital boards or whatever's in the stand in the stadium, you know. So, but anyway, hope that's helped you out a bit. Remember them horizons. <laughs> no excuses now. So, time for a coffee. Might just go and have a five minutes in the garden while the sun's out. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep safe, keep your family safe, catch up again soon.